Hello everyone. This session is about one carbon metabolism. So in this class, we'll see about what is one carbon compound, who's going to carry that one carbon compound, how it is generated, and how it is utilized. So what is a one carbon? This one carbon compounds, they're going to give all this one carbon to a storage place. We call that as a one carbon pool. From which all these carbon groups are utilized for various metabolism to synthesize different compounds. The various one carbon compounds are formyl, form imino, hydroxymethyl, methanyl, methylene and methyl. The second thing we are going to see is who is going to carry this one carbon compounds. So these are the various one carbon compounds and who is going to carry that compound? It is folic acid. The folic acid structure is, it contains tyroyl and glutamic acid. So folic acid is a tyroyl glutamate. But only the activated folic acid is going to carry the one carbon groups. So folate, first it reduces, it gets the hydrogen group and becomes dihydrofolate. Then further reduction by dihydrofolate reductase, it will become tetrahydrofolate. We call it as THF. This is the active folic acid which is going to carry the one carbon groups. Now we'll see the tetrahydrofolic acid structure. So this is the overall folic acid. So if you add four hydrogen groups, we call it as tetrahydrofolic acid. Only the N5 and N10 are the structures which helps in N5 and N10 of the tetrahydrofolic acid structure, which helps in carrying the methyl groups, okay? Otherwise, the one carbon groups. In this slide, we can see all the one carbon compounds, like your formyl, methanyl, formimino, methylene, methyl, hydroxymethyl. But this central column is very, very important. Why? Because all the one carbon compounds are pointing to the direction of the formation of methyl tetrahydrofolic acid, which is more reduced form because this reduction is irreversible. Okay. So all your compounds is going to reduce to methyl tetrahydrofolic acid. Okay. You can get methanyl from formyl and formimino. Likewise, methylene tetrahydrofolic acid is formed from hydroxymethyl tetrahydrofolic acid. And all these compounds are reduced to methyl tetrahydrofolic acid. All these compounds are carried by tetrahydrofolic acid. Exception is methyl. Tetrahydrofolic acid can carry the methyl group, but more often it is carried by your SAM. Yes, adenosyl methionine. Okay, it helps in transmethylation reaction.